So let's start with the front brakes. The front brakes regarding to the section, the left side did not have the same type of power as the right side. So I'm going to take a look at this side and see what's going on here. When I turn the wheel like this, I can feel that there is quite a lot of resistance. And that is generally that the brake collector have seized up a little bit. So let's remove this tire and see what's going on. First we just clean it up a little bit because to get this caliper out we have the hinge here and you have the bolt there and that's the easy, easiest way because you can turn it out like that. If that doesn't work you have two bolts on the back side here you can release and pull it out totally. Um, I will start with this one here because I want to clear the hinge and make sure that they flow freely. And unfortunately, it looks like that bolt is rounded inside. So I won't be able to remove that one easily. It doesn't look like that. I will try with the Torx first and see if I can do it. And I already see the problem. As you can see this bolt here doesn't protrude as it should and it removes the caliper instead. And that means it is seized up inside. There we go. Uh, luckily, this rod is 100% clean, so I'm not sure why it would have been stuck like that. So let's find out. I'm guessing we need to clean that seal up a little bit and push it in again because that looks like brand new, no problem inside there. First I press this in again. I'm adding this seal, if I can get it on. Something like that. And then it's just a matter of getting this inside again. Make sure you have enough lubricant inside. Like so. Now it's time for this other one. Same procedure. Like so. And then you press this one in as well. You might, might need a small screwdriver or something else to get it in there. And you just gently but firmly press the edge inside again.
and that's it. Now it's time to tackle the second thing that may be an issue and that is this piston here. It may be that that one has seized up and doesn't want to move back and forth. And I immediately saw a potential issue here and that is this flange here that should protect it is broken in half. So it may be that there is a lot of dirt inside. And what I tend to do is lift this up to see if there are any rust on the inside. I'm not sure if you can see that. It is a little bit tinted yellow. Uh, and I can see the lack of lubricant. So I'm going to press it out a little bit more and then add uh, some oil to it to make it flow a little bit better back and forth. When you have lubricated a little bit, it's time to start pressing it back and forth. And there is several ways to do that. One way is just to use a normal U-clamp. And that tends to work fine. That's it. Time to go up in the car again and press it up. And by doing that, I'm happy. Uh, I did not see any big issues with it, this caliper. So let's put it back together again. Uh, first, we just make sure that everything is fine here. That one looks okay. The disc looks okay. The pads are okay. The outer one is changed earlier and that one is not. That should be fine. Let's move, get it all together again. And I'm actually going to do this a little bit backwards because I don't want to move this one out. And that's basically it. We're happy with the front now. And that's it. That's how I fixed the brakes on my car. This one was pretty simple to fix but still yet irritating and I didn't approve it. Uh, I had a difference of roughly 50% between the front tires from the left to the right side. But after this fix I had only 10% difference. So it doesn't take much to seize up the brakes but this little I did here where I lubricated the caliper and fixed the seal itself that helped out a lot and saved me a lot of grief so I want to thank you all for watching this video and please subscribe if you liked it and comment and let me know what you want to see next bye